am headed to meet my family in the breathtaking city of Hoi An. I'm flying from Hanoi to Da Nang, which is about an hour flight and then a 45 minute taxi to Hoi An. My family was in Ha Long Bay, so they're flying from another airport, but we both flew Vietnam Airlines, which is the best airline to fly in country if you have the budget. My family members that you're going to meet today are my Uncle Ken, Aunt Janet, Libby, Mara, and Jill, my three cousins. So I made it to Da Nang and now I'm in a grab car, which is like Uber here, and I am headed to the hotel. Right now we're currently going the wrong way in a one way, but <laughs> it's my Uber driver. Hello. Hello. <laughs> grab driver, sorry. Hoi An is a must visit if you come to Vietnam. There are so many amazing hotels in this area. We stayed at La Siesta and we loved it. This hotel is gorgeous. It has four different swimming pools. The staff was so wonderful and the breakfast buffet was incredible. My cousins were obsessed. All right, so we are in Hoi An, which is a lantern so city. We're taking loads of pictures. Ate lots of food, but we're about to eat more street food. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. And be sure to subscribe. <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe. You must. Can you tell people you gotta say like? You have to like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks. Like actually, like like and subscribe. If you arrive in Hoi An in the evening, it's so worth it to check out the old town even for a half hour. There are lanterns everywhere and loads of street food. We didn't try any street food because we ate at Madame Q's. The food was okay, but the view is unbeatable if you sit on the second floor. Be sure to call ahead. Make sure you try Khao Lao. It's a dish that you'll only find here in Hoi An because the special noodles are made from well water. To die for. I almost considered breaking my vegetarianism to eat it just one more time. Right, it's morning time. We just ate, we're about to eat so again. Much food. Ni just got here and we're headed to our cooking tour for the day. This is Ni. Ni, say hi. Chingi. Where are we headed? Uh, we go to my place right now. All right, let's go. <laughs> So we are doing the Tuan Ting private cooking class. It has a 4.9 star rating on Google and I highly recommend you do it if you have the time while in Hoi An. For the tour, we started off by heading to the local market where our guide Ni bought all the ingredients we would need for the dishes that we were going to learn to make. And she accommodated for everyone's preferences too because I'm a vegetarian and my cousins don't like seafood. Even if you don't like cooking, I definitely recommend doing this tour because you'll learn a lot and it's so fun. Right, into the market we go. Where are you at, Libby? Oi, oi, oi. What do you think, Uncle Ken? Uh, a lot of red meat. <laughs> oh. Is this all fresh? Her husband killed this in the morning. Oh my gosh, really? Very, very fresh. We don't keep long day with us. Just for the okay. evening. Mm. I eat the evening for sure. They have a lot. We can sell cheap rice for a lot of people around. Oh, okay. If you come to the market in the evening, very cheap rice. Right? Can you tell YouTube? What are we doing now? Uh, we go on the boat trip right now, about half an hour. Okay. So we are headed to cooking and we're on this little, I'm not sure what, what it's called. They gave us these hats. We got Angie and Uncle Ken over here on this little boat. Hello! Whoop whoop! Isaiah! Oh my gosh! Grab the goods! Very heavy groceries. Come on. <laughs> Libby, I think you need a YouTube channel. Wow. Alright, we made it to the Tuan Ting cooking class. So here we are. We've got all of our yes. We've got our little stuff already laid out. Some big cooking chopsticks. Aunt Janet's ready to use the masher. <laughs> Exciting. Let's see what we make. Very 
What is this? This is a shrimp spring roll made by me. <laughs> What's the Vietnamese name for it? Delicious. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see yours, Libby. Okay, okay. We got the sauce here that we made, peanut sauce that we boiled. Okay, here. I dip it in. How is it? Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. Don't have a boyfriend early. Don't marry early. When you see the about half minute, you see the meat food already. Bún bò Nam Bộ. Yummy! <laughs> This is like my favorite thing I think we made today. Absolutely what is your favorite? Which has been your favorite so far? And then do I just keep it? Wow. Like perfectly cooked. Um, do you want to say a few words about it? You know, what can I say? I'm a natural. <laughs> you are half Asian. Yeah, I am half Asian. Yep. We're Just all as half as she. We're all half Korean, but I think it's different though because my mom is a Korean one and then my uncle is a Korean one for them. So, yeah. I think it makes a difference. I know. Dad over what? mom. Yeah. Do we look, do we look related? Yeah. You, do. you know, once we got, um, once somebody thought I was somebody's mom. Mm. Do you remember that? What? Yeah. Well, we made it back. Thank you. Thank you very what a great much. tour. We're all sweaty and gross, but a That's good day. Okay. Thank you. And see you next time. Bye, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Alright, so we are currently on the Tubon River according to our guide. Hello! Hi! Hi! Hello. We're gonna let out our wish soon. Hi girls! Hi! Hi. Like move your, move your foot a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! our lanterns go in the water we did a little shopping we got a purse for Libby because she was feeling a little sick and didn't come out and my uncle Ken got a leather belt made from local water buffalo and we couldn't end the day without getting some rolled ice cream and it was delicious day two of our time in Hoi An we got picked up from our hotel by our two guides Tom and Cham and yes their names sound very similar from there we loaded our bikes and selves onto a boat and headed to the island where we would be biking around and learning more about local Vietnamese culture and bikes here are really common most of the hotels will have free bikes for you to use so it's a great way to get around and explore Ciao Wang. morning Ooh. All right, we're heading to the bamboo boats, and people are pretty. We're pretty sweaty. It's pretty hot. How are we doing? Little <laughs> toasty. While on the tour, we stopped at this woman's house where our guide's called Sexy Lady, and she took us to try out basket boats or tung chai. She was so full of life and humorous and very strong. Go bao nu toi. Ba ai mui tui. Bye, my toy. Wow, okay. Come on. Come on, go. So it's been really hot, so we got we got our hats. Jilly, let's see. 
We bought them for about 60,000 dong, including the little strap, which I think they said is a good deal. You never know. <laughs> What's the name of this hat? Uh, Nong La. Nong La. Yes, Nong La. Yeah. It's beautiful. Better than my baseball cap. <laughs> okay. All right, so right now we are at a place where they make local rice wine. This man's been making rice wine for how many years? 27 years. 27 years. And um, yeah, pretty cool. 50 liters a day. 50 liters of rice wine a day. You are the happier you will be. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Ready? Mo hi ba yo hi ba yo hi ba what cheers cheers oh good be confident come on oh no more confident on the bike really good not too far from lunch stop hello this is the DJ hi we just ate dinner and oh wait no we didn't we just lunch. ate lunch it was really good what did you have joe uh chicken and rice was it good yes very Pretty good. good i had the tofu it was delicious but now we're super hot so what are we gonna do Thank swim you. in the pool swim in the pool all right bye. bye well we ended our bike tour super fun very hot now we're putting our bikes back on the boat and we're gonna head back to the hotel Well, we made it to the airport. It's time to say goodbye soon. So How was the trip? Aww, 10 out of 10. So good. Annie J is the best trip planner ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I'm looking half awake because it is about 5.30, the sun is just setting. I'm in Da Nang. I ended up staying in Da Nang. It's about 15 minutes from the airport you have to fly in to be able to get to Hoi An. I love this town so much, so I stayed here last night instead of going back to Hoi An. I found a hotel last minute for like 45 bucks. I'm on the top balcony. Um, so I've got a great view of the Lady Buddha statue and everything here. I'm just gonna walk up and down and look at some of the things going on at the beach this morning. I see there's some girls exercising in these like matching outfits, so I'm definitely going to go check that out. I hope that you had a great time watching this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments, and I'll see you next video. Be sure to subscribe, <laughs> like my cousin said. Alright, bye. Um, there's this woman here. She's buried. I'm not sure why. She said it's for health, so 